I'm Cheryl and if you guys don't know I make all sorts of content and after last week's video you guys were really really nice and you know a lot of you actually wanted to know my makeup tutorial like I've been getting comments for a while maybe like one or two people asked but I still decided to take the liberty to make a makeup tutorial my makeup has changed throughout the years so if you want my most updated one this is the one I love it and it works for me so it might work for you so let's get started so to start off prepping is the most important thing this is something that I've never really learned the importance of until like up to maybe a month ago so this is the Charlotte Tilbury brightening youth glow color correcting primer it's not really focused on color correcting but it's really cute and I just decided to get it since I was getting the foundation anyway it's like shiny I just usually put this much you also feel like I'm putting too little primer I see a lot of people put like so much more on their face so when it comes to like my skin base, I always used to do concealer first but because recently I just tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the coverage is super strong so I didn't really use um, concealer anymore that's why I just used this I got this in the shade Neutral 4 and I usually just pump like one pump like this is enough especially because like, I've not got not many things to cover except for like the acne scarring that I have then I always use a sponge to blend trust me sponges makes it so much better and I use the Morphe one it's really cheap and it's also really easy and really good it's like something that's affordable yet works really well it's not like those budget store ones that clearly don't work then moving on powdering I always do this this is my favorite step it kind of just melts everything together and we're gonna use the Morphe translucent setting powder I'm still struggling how to use powder it kind of goes all over my face oh and I'm using a Tarte brush which I bought like years ago so next I always do my brows and trust me guys I'm the most disgusting person like my whole makeup collection has changed except for my brow products this is um, like a benefit brow tool and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in dark brown I've been using this for like the past five years I kid you not it's disgusting but you know my cousin bought it for me so shout out friend you got it for me and just letting you know I'm still using it to be honest the reason why I barely use it is because I have like eyebrow tattoo on but somehow when you put on foundation it just covers up the brow tattoo so like I gotta make sure I do my own you know and I just I think it's dried up or something <laughs> that I need to just scrape it in then I just go over it sometimes I make it a bit thicker so today my brows aren't the best because they're not super on flea because you know brows are never supposed to look the same okay and we're gonna move on to eyes I barely do my eyes because I have eyelash extensions but recently I started doing this other thing which um I'm gonna show you guys right now. I don't know how to explain it. I basically take a shadow brush, like a flat shadow brush, and I take an eyeshadow palette. This one's um, from New Date. A friend gave it to me like two a year ago. And I take um, something like a more mauve, mauve, mauve color, and then I just put it under my eye. And then I always make sure to take my middle finger and pop my inner corners, make sure they pop. So after finishing the under eye, it's very simple. We continue with a bit of darker tones. So I use the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And then I take the color punk. And yeah, the palette is very dirty. <laughs> I take the color punk with the same brush and then I just overline those lines again, like making it slightly darker, you know. After we've done the brown, it's a very subtle thing. We use the same brush again and we go in with the color jet. We're very disgusting here. <laughs> again, the color jet and then we just underline the black again. Oh my god, it's too much. Sometimes you will, you will overdo it like today. I overdid it, but whatever. So once your eyes are done, it's very simple. We are honestly just done with the eyes. This is what this is just what I do because like I have eyelash extensions on, so it's really easy for me. Like I don't have to draw my eyeliner or anything. So it usually takes like, less than 10 minutes to do my makeup. And then we go into the Cheek Leaders palette by Benefit with a Morphe, I don't know what number brush. This is the Morphe 2 brush. I just bought the set, it was so simple. We go into the color hula, it's the famous hula bronzer. I go all over my forehead and I draw a number three like this. Um, I saw like Khloe Kardashian do it, so I, I tried it out. And after contouring your face, we have to contour the nose. So I go back into the same palette with a different brush. This is a small eyeshadow, like inner corner brush, but I just use it for my nose. Just tap it off, and then we we just okay. The thing is, what I learned is you gotta follow your eyebrow line. So this is your eyebrow line, and then you go down here, and you just follow your nose. But if you don't have like um 
like the shape you can just create it it's like drawing you know so i sometimes draw it like really really small it gives the illusion of a bridge kind of thing if you get what i mean <laughs> then i go into the blush brush and I go back into this palette which I use for my under eye and you know there's like a red blush here you know you can use any red blush I just like to do this every day now when I film as well so that it gives me that like cute kawaii look without actually blushing like you can be like this and you still look kind of cute you know and I just kind of really go into it another thing is that I used to do my blush this way but now I just do it this way so I make it flat and then I make it flat here so it looks like, you see you're blushing and then I go over it like try to create like a straight line I know it's very strange but just go over it like as if like you got something like painted like that across your face and then um, I just drag it up like I just drag it up to my like above my brow bone like this because now it looks a bit too red I always go back into the Cheek Leaders Pink Squad palette and I take the colour Dandelion which is their like pastel pink blush and I go in with the same brush I just go in like really go in and then I just overdo it like blend it out sort of and then I just do it again in the C formation you guys gotta trust the process because it kind of looks crazy but trust me when you when you take videos when you take pictures it looks good and lastly I would like to go into the last step which is highlighting I used to highlight so much but nowadays because I focus more on the blush I highlight a little bit less I take my highlight I don't know what brush this is but it's like this you know like and I go into the same palette, I take Tickle and then I I just highlight like normal and then I highlight my brow bone as well so before we finish the whole look, we gotta put on some lipstick this is the new YSL lipstick so this is the finished look for my everyday makeup tutorial I do this makeup every day when I film or when I'm in lockdown and I can't really do anything and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure to click the subscribe button turn on the notifications because you will never miss out a video I'm really happy to be back on YouTube so I can't wait to share all the content I have planned for all of you and if you have any video ideas or anything you guys would like to see or if there's anything you guys would want me to try please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!